Hey everyone, it's your buddy, it's your pal, I'm Karnak, and this is Star Wars Armada Explained. Thank you so much for your patience as I built my new computer rig, got that all up and running, finally have everything where I need to start making videos again. So today we're going to be looking at Wat Tambor, he's a Separatist officer. So Wat Tambor, if you, how do you know it equips the officer slot? If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the card, you'll see the icon for that. Opposite corner, you're going to see that he's faction specific for the Separatists only. Point cost of five points, very reasonable. Wat Tambor, if you look there next to his name, you'll see a little dot or bullet point signifies that they are unique. You can only ever have one Wat Tambor in your fleet. The card has, it, overall, it's not very confusing, but there's definitely some parts where, again, I'm going to make sure I'm breaking this all down. Um, so we're going to read the card real quick. So, Repair Command. You may spend up to two shields from any of your whole zones or any one whole zone on another friendly ship at distance one to five to gain twice that many additional engineering points. Okay, so let's start with that, that symbol. Some of the new players who are going to be watching these videos, sometimes they get confused about what this means. So those symbols means that you can only use this card effect if that command that symbol is showing is resolving in this case this is the repair command so the only time that you can use watts ability is if you are resolving a repair command this can only be done in one of three ways either you are spending a dial to resolve a repair command or you are spending just a token repair token to resolve the repair command or you are spending a dial and token together to resolve a repair command. So the key point being here is that you need to be spending with one of those three methods I just mentioned um, to resolve the repair command. Once you are resolving the repair, repair command, this card effect is now enabled. Um, so once this card effect is enabled, you're now able to use it. So um, let's say, for instance, the this providence here with Watt Tambor equipped on it uh, reveals a repair dial command and you say I am going to be using this repair dial command to repair my ship now the Providence already comes with four engineering points now let's say this ship has already been struck on the front let's say it's down from its five shields to three so you could spend you know your four engineering points to regain those two shields two and two um, let's say that it's got a, a bit more damage though. Let's say it's got uh, It's down to one shield on the front. Well, uh oh that dial and that four engineering points Well, that's only gonna give me get uh, two shields from one back up to three and I'm still gonna get shot more I need more shields. So what you can do with Watt Tambor as it says there You may spend up to two shields from any of your whole zones and again when it says you or your, it specifically is meaning not, not you, the person. It means you, that ship, and you and your, your ship's whole zones, that ship. So you could be like, you know what? I don't need those shields in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and take two shields off my rear hull zone uh, to gain twice that many engineering points. Okay, so I had the four from the dial, and now I'm going to get uh, four from... The two shields I lost in the rear hole zone, well now I've got eight points I can spend. Okay, well now I'm going to put uh, one, two, uh, three, four shields back on my front. That puts you back up to five shields. And you didn't have to um, spend points to move shields. You could, um, you know, if you wanted to. But, you know, in this case, you, if you know you're not going to need the shields back there, chuck them on your front. You know, regain shields to your front or where you get a lot of use from that is like, for example, oh, let me put the, the number back down to one here. Maybe you want one shield off your left, oops, one shield off your left and one shield off your rear. And then that way you can, um, again, get those eight points uh, and put shields where you want. Where essentially where Watt is great at is pretty much it's, it's a free redirect. Or if you just need extra engineering points to like, discard damage cards or maybe there's an objective like abandoned mining facility where you need extra engineering points in order to to generate some other kinds of effects um he's great for something like on a transport hard cell where you have the two officer slots where 
You can use somebody like Rune to give you a, a repair token to then power a Watt to then projection expert and uh, potentially, you know, shuttle over, you know, uh, additional shields to something else. But he's great on ships, big ships themselves that you know are going to be taking a lot of fire and a lot of damage uh, because you can kind of, you know, help keep the ship alive by putting shields where you want or getting rid of damage cards. The key point, though, is you're not wanting to spend your shields off your ship to do this. Uh, why is that, you say? Well, the, the CIS have these great little ships called hard cells where almost always they will die with shields still on them. So why use shields off of your ship when you can just be like, hey, hard cell, good buddy, good pal, I see you're over there in distress. No, no, no. I'm not here to save you. I'm just here to take what I need. So, again, the other part of this card here is you can choose another friendly ship that is at distance 1 to 5. You can only choose one hull zone. Um, so, for example, they have two shields on their rear hull zone, so almost always you can be like, Hey, buddy, pal, I see you've got two shields in your rear hull zone. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and suck those off, and now I'm going to put two shields onto my ship thanks so much see you later have a good explosion i don't need you anymore and that's such a such a separatist thing to do don't you think i just think that that's very thematic um and again if you chose a zone that only has one shield well then you can only suck one shield off another ship and and when you are doing your measurement um you are measuring from closest point to closest point plastic base to plastic base uh, one thing I want to make sure you're mentioning, you never mention or you never measure from shield dials or the frames. They never count for any for any measuring ever. So you measure from the plastic base, the you know, the white part to the white part of the another ship, base to base, closest point. That's the closest point. Uh, some players often get confused. They think they have to measure from black cardboard to black cardboard. That's only ever when attacking. And in this case, this is not an attack. Uh, it just says we just need to do a distance check. So again, closest point to closest point. Physical plastic base to physical plastic base. Never from shield dials or the frames. Great. Some people wonder why I, I say that so often in all my videos. is because, again, we could have new players watching for the first time. I just want to make sure I'm covering it for them. All right. So that, I mean, in a nutshell... In a nutshell, that's Watt Tambor, rather. That's how Watt Tambor works. So again, you need to be resolving the repair command, whether that be from a dial or from a token or both of those together. Uh, you can spend up to two shields from any of the ship he's equipped to his whole zone. So, you know, front, left, right, side, diagonal, whatever. Two zones, you've got it. You can choose two uh, separate zones if you want. Or if there's another friendly ship at distance one to five, you can choose one whole zone on it and suck off either one or two shields. And again, you gain twice that many engineering points. So that's Watt Tambor. He's great for keeping your big heavy hitter ships alive just because it's just getting so many engineering points. It can just keep going and going and going unless there's just an overwhelming amount of firepower tossed at it. So uh, one thing I do want to make sure I'm mentioning with Watt Tambor no, I did mention it. So essentially, he's just he's a great card. Um, I, I feel like for five points, this card might be too powerful or the effect is too powerful. I mean, I've seen games where, you know, I've seen a, a, a Providence have all of its front shields knocked off and like all of its side shields. And then here comes Watt Tambor. He resolves on a Providence. If you resolve a dial, well, that's four engineering points. But if it has a token, it gets half that value. So it has six now. And then it sucks off two shields from a hard cell, so it gets 10 engineering points. And with those 10 engineering points, it can cover one, two, three, four, five shields. So then it's back up to being at like full strength. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's such a ridiculously powerful card. But that's Watt Tambor. Um, once you get those timings down, very simple, very effective. Uh, otherwise, if you think I got anything wrong or if I missed anything, please be sure to point it out. Let me know. Appreciate you guys watching, and hey, I'll catch you next time.